welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. So I know that everybody has their own way of doing things with their hair and I'm just opening up and showing you what I do and what works for me. So today I am going to be letting you in to see how I crochet my locks. And I don't crochet every single lock. My hair is kind of thin and it's curly and the longer I go without retwisting my hair, my hair does not just freeform lock on its own. My daughter's hers do, but mine don't. It does not lock and I have to go in and reinforce my hair and tame it to lock. So that's when I come in with the method of crocheting. I was so glad that I was able to do some research because I was like, wait a minute, my hair isn't looking like everybody else's. Like, why isn't mine locking like theirs? theirs? They could go months without getting their hair done and their hair seemed to just catch on. Mine's have not been doing that. So I've been crocheting my hair for the past, I think last two times, like six months. Let's get right into it. Now, let me show you what my hair look like when it's not crochet. So we're gonna do it before and we're gonna do it after. So usually, um, so y'all know my hair is not washed. This is my hair, we are going to wash it. We are going to get to that, okay? It's not washed, so I'm just gonna put it up there. So if you see some build up or something, don't be judging me, okay? This is what it is, this is real life here, okay? So we're gonna use this one. My sides, they never, can you see it? It's very thin, I have very thin curly hair. If you can see that, can you see that? Yeah, so you can see where it's locked and then all of this is new growth and it has not locked. So we are going to give it some help. Always my sides do that. I have a mirror right here, so if you see me looking to the side, that's because I'm looking in the mirror. Let me show you an example of the ones that don't lock on their own. So can you see this? This is my hair right here, okay? My hair is very, very curly. So this one right here, it does well with continuing to lock on its own. Can I come closer? I can't see with the camera, see, I'm just trying to get you guys a good visual of it. Hopefully you can see it, you see? Now when we look at this one, you see that? It's not, it's not there like it's supposed to. So we're gonna fix that. And I'm gonna start off using the eight. We're gonna fix this one too. So let's start off using the eight. What I do is I take it and I just twist it lightly. I'm not doing a whole hard twist. I'm just twisting it lightly. And then I am going to, all I'm going to do is put the crochet needle in through the lock and just and twist and come out. So all I'm doing is going through the lock, twisting it and coming out. Going in through the lock, twisting it and coming out. And I'm gonna do that all through here. So now I'm going to go back up to the top. You see how that's still loose? You can see it, it's not, all right. And I'm just gonna go in, twist, go in. Let me see if I get a good look. So y'all see that, going in. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that. And you guys, be patient, okay? If this is what you're doing and you do do the crochet method, it is not no quick fix, real easy, like, okay, you gotta take your time and feel what's going on. You can feel it as you twist, okay? So I'm still twisting it around and just bringing, locking it like this, crocheting it in and out, twist, in and out, twist, and moving it around and just, creating little crochets. That's how I crochet my lock. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I think the back is fine. I usually have one in the back that I have to do, which is this one right here. Always have to crochet this one, always. So I'll be crocheting this one. This is one of my little small locks. So I always end up having to crochet that. So I just twisted it, but this is what it looks like untwisted. See, all that needs to be done. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the five ones that I always have to do. Here.
but um this is what my locks look like when they are wet this is my natural state of my hair curly the next day and I actually like the way the retwist came out we started in the bathroom and we go finish in the bathroom for two years um, I have experienced so many things with this log journey and I must say that it is the best decision that God has ever put on my heart to transition with my hair if you're thinking about getting locks I would say that I'm biased. I think everyone should have it. Um, I'm hoping that when the twins get older, they decide that they want to have locks because it's it's an amazing journey and it's a way to connect with your hair. I have a little sense of confidence when it comes to my hair in this lock journey and it's been amazing thus far. I really appreciate you guys who come and support this lock journey and the lock journey of um, two of our daughters. We really appreciate the love and the support. It's not easy transitioning to locks as others might think that it is but i always try to come and share information with you and for this to be our two-year lock anniversary i am excited to see what it's going to be like for year three i feel like my hair has grown tremendously um i'm enjoying the length uh sometimes i think i'm all there i be acting all like what ex excuse me oh, no you wasn't talking to me oh sorry you wasn't talking at all okay my bad <laughs> get a little fancy with it but all in all, thank you so much for tuning in with this video. I look forward to coming back and updating again with some new products that I have or whatever I'm trying. 
I doubt it'll be anything new, uh, but I might find some new routines. And I hope that you seeing me um, crochet was very helpful to you. If you have any questions, please drop it down in a comment. And until next time, you guys, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaver Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people.